dear children today we are going to cover chapter number 6 file management from your book now <clears throat> we learned about so many applications to create files create different uh, drawing files you created uh, files with uh, different drawing coloring right typed letters uh, so when we create so many things that needs to be these files needs to be managed in a proper way so that it is easy for you to find it for later use when you shut down your computer and then reopen the next day or any other day you need to find it easily that is where how this uh, um, management thing helps us so today we are going to learn about this type of of uh, this uh, topic on file management how to manage them how to keep them in an arranged in an organized way so that it's easy for you to access it and use it at any time uh, so let's get started so in this chapter we are going to learn about the concept of file and folder file explorer creating a folder creating a file saving a file opening a file or folder renaming a file or folder so let's start learning one by one so let's understand what is file explorer file explorer is a file manager application that provides detailed information about files folders and drives it enables you to access edit manage and organize your files and folders you can use it to view create delete copy move rename and search files and folders so this file explorer helps you to explore the files and do these actions of viewing creating deleting copying moving from one folder to another and renaming the file and if you have forgotten something and you want to search the files and folders can be done with the help of this file fold explorer uh, file manager application so <clears throat> now let's go to the next topic now how to create a folder this folder helps us to uh, keep our files like you keep your drawing files uh, sheets in a file uh, it helps you to keep it in an arranged way right so the same way you can uh, store your files in these folders for that you need to create a folder how do we do that we follow the given steps to create a folder on the desktop screen first of all you have to right click on the blank area of the desktop place the pointer on the new option a list of sub options appear like you can see on figure 5 point uh, 6.1 okay then click on the folder option a new folder icon will be displayed on the desktop with its default name highlighted so default name is new folder that will be highlighted but that's not the file name that you want to keep it you want to change it so what you will do type a new name for the folder at the cursor position and press the enter key so when it is blinking when it is highlighted uh, there you need to type in your you remove uh, erase that new folder name and type your own name and press the enter key a new folder will be created there and you can see it on the desktop now there is one uh, quick tip you need to learn uh, for you to learn that is to open file explorer see when we learned about this file explorer how it is how helpful it is for us to uh, manage the files right so to open that there is a shortcut key that is win key you must have seen it like a window symbol key will be a window symbol will be there right that key and e 
if you press it on the keyboard the file explorer folder will open for you now there is also another way of uh, the similar way you can open it in other folder also let's learn about how to open or create a folder insert a drive or any other folder by using the explorer file explorer okay now <coughs> okay wait a second children so now how to create a folder inside a drive or any other folder by using X file explorer for that you need to open file explorer uh, by right clicking on the start then file explorer then double click on this pc folder from the left pan okay you can see in figure 6.2 there are two pans in this uh, window and uh, you click on the new folder option that is given uh, if you come to if you click on double click on this pc you will see on the right pan the uh, contents of that pc select a drive for example you can select c d drive or c drive from the right pan and click on the new folder button see you can see there is a call out box here which says new folder button you click on that or you can follow the same method that you create uh, used for creating a folder on the desktop here also by keeping the cursor on the right pan and right clicking with that also you can select do it so the another uh, uh, shortcut key that you have to learn is to create a new file in word 2016 what is the shortcut key we press Control plus n and when we want to delete a file or a folder permanently what's the shortcut we use shift plus delete so these shortcut keys you you need to learn well now the next topic we are going to cover is creating a file the most common method to create a file is by using an application software and these are the uh, there is uh, you have learned about the microsoft word application software and ms paint software so here we will create a microsoft word document so how do we create a word document we have created a folder now we are going to create a word document in that folder so for that open word document by clicking on the start word 2016 a blank page is displayed on the screen type the text and text on the blank page this uh, how you you create a file by opening a application software like ms word now we have created it now you have to save it if you don't save it this file will not be cannot be accessed the next time so what do we do we need to save it first let's understand how to save a file saving a file enables you to access it anytime when needed you can also make changes in it as and when required if you want to change something later that can also be done if you save it if you do not save your file you may lose your useful data so the hard work that you have put in the time you have spent will be will go wasted okay so we need to saving a file is very important so how do we do that select file save option from there and then the save as window will appear like you can see in figure 6.4 then select this pc option and click on the browse button the save as dialog box will appear so this is the save as dialog box which you see here okay then it will ask you to select the location for your file where in which place you want to save this file location means a place click on any drive on the left pan of the window so the on the left side is the places in the computer you choose a one choose one here type a file name in the file name text box below this uh, right pan you see there is a box for file name you type 
for example it's written my document here so same way you can type your own name here in your computer then click on the save button once you have done that at the bottom most uh, at the bottom you will find the save option here click on that you can see the path of the file on the address bar of the save as dialog box if you see here just below the save as or the top you see there is a path see it is started from this pc under this pc you have selected documents folder and in that documents folder you are saving this my document for file so this is the path the way to the if you want to find the uh, document that you are going to save now later you can remember this way also this is the way i have to go first i will click on this pc then i will go to my documents and then i will click on my document this document will be opened whenever i want to use it so this is how you save your file now we move on to opening a file or folder to open a file or folder on the desktop simply move the pointer to the particular file or folder and double click on it so this is one way uh, or you can just select highlight once it gets selected right click and there is an option for open then you click on open that will also open the file to open a file stored at a different location for example if you are on desktop and you want to open a file from uh, this pc or any other location so how do we do it we first go to file explorer by double clicking on this pc icon select the specific drive means whichever c drive d drive wherever you have saved select that and on the left pan from the left pan and then double click on the required folder in the right pan so when you collect select the location all the content of that location will be displayed on the right side from there you can find your file and double click on it to open it now how do we rename a folder or a file renaming means to change the existing name of a file or folder you have given a name to a file and now you want to change it how can we do that right click on the desired whichever file you want to change it rename it just right click on that select the rename option by from the shortcut menu that is by right clicking on it you will find the rename option uh, you click on that the file and folder name will be highlighted once you click on the rename option it will highlight the uh, file name area wherever the file name is written that will be highlighted now you have to erase that and type the new file or folder now i am going to recap this chapter for you in a computer the the information is stored in a file where each file is characterized by a unique file name that gives an idea about its contents folder is a collection of relevant files stored together on some storage device we cannot create two folders with the same name at the same location so it will not create you cannot give same name to uh, same named file cannot be kept in the same folder okay you can keep it anywhere else on the computer at different location but not at the same location a folder within a folder is called a subfolder a file explorer is a file manager application that provides detailed information about files folders and drives the most common method to create a file is by using an application software such as microsoft word notepad paint etc saving a file enables you to access it any time when needed renaming means to change the existing name of a file or folder so children this uh, we have come to the end of this chapter i will be covering the exercises of this chapter in the next video that's all for today children read the chapter as many number of times for better understanding and for your exam